Soft Plugs and coming to you with some in, uh, interesting developments. Something I should have talked about a long time ago. Uh, specifically, this is an answering a challenge that I got from a guy who's a Filipino. His nickname is Ray Raylan. Uh, Filipinos don't really use their real names much. They all have nicknames. Some other parts of the world do the same. But anyway, so Ray decided to challenge me to a fight. <laughs> and what's very interesting about this is because what he's doing is something that's happened with a lot of people. And the reasons why he wants to challenge me are the same reasons that a lot of people have done things uh, to try to basically make themselves look good at my expense over 20 years. Um, Ray is somebody who wants to call himself a grand master. I don't like those terms. I don't use those terms. The people I know in fighting would never use those terms. Uh, it's something that the Filipinos still like to do. So he's a grand master, but he doesn't really have anybody who said he was a grand master. Personally, I don't care because if we're going to use those things, I'm a supreme, supreme grand master in combat. JKD, comrade boss, Brilliant Mars. VDA <laughs> and a host of other things that I've done. But the factor is that they like to use these names to give themselves some sort of fake authenticity and validate themselves as sort of a fake credential because unlike in chess where Grandmaster, International Grandmaster, uh, International Master, Master, International Master and Grandmaster means something because the person's had to win a certain amount of games, matches against other people who are rated players. Of course in chess you don't risk anything attempting that. However, uh, in martial arts, which I don't really take part in, I'm a, in combat science, people do this without any sort of testing really. They don't have fights to prove that they're a grandmaster or a master. <laughs> and they like to use excuses that they don't need to. Well, Okay, so I'm a runner, but I don't ever run. And if they can't follow that logic, then they're more stupid than I can hope to even talk to <laughs> about anything. So anyway, so the point being is calling himself a grandmaster, I don't care. Uh, like I said, I don't care about those terms. But look, I, no one ever stopped Ray from trying to become what I've done. He hasn't had uh, his name in magazines. around the world, he hasn't been featured in Black Belt, Karate International, and several other magazines. He hasn't had interviews in France, he hasn't had interviews in Spain on TV, he hasn't been on TV in Canada, he hasn't done uh, interviews for newspapers in the United States and Canada and Costa Rica, been on radio. He hasn't done any of those things, but no one stopped him. He stopped himself. It's his own limitations. No one stopped him from becoming a professional fighter than his own lack of ability. I've fought 75 times on three continents, one belt. He's rated number one in the world in shoot boxing at one period of time. So I've accomplished quite a bit. I've also been a pioneer, revolutionized the self defense world and was the number one sale, still am, for a company. I won't mention them out of California. You can easily find out who if you want. look and I've pioneered uh, lots of technologies that have saved people's lives I've gotten testimonials from around the world Ray never has Ray hasn't done any of these things but it's just using Ray is just a illustration of other people who have basically taken my stuff tried to pass it off as their own people teaching my things they've stolen it from uh, seminars they think they can come in and uh, go to a seminar and then teach their students although I haven't given them any authority to teach. Uh, also people have gotten my DVDs. Some people have pirated certain amounts of that. That's a lot of money. My R&D. This is uh, for a lot of people this stuff is a hobby but for me it's my profession. It's what I do so let me come down to your job and destroy your work okay and then pawn it off as my own. Would be like trying to steal things from Microsoft. They take a dim view of that and so do I. Anyway so no one ever stopped Ray from creating his own material and doing something, becoming somebody, helping people around the world. That's Ray's own limitations. <laughs> so uh, he is, like I said, indicative of many people over 20 years who've tried to 
watch my stuff, and then pawn it off as their own, one. Two, talk as if they're experts, although they don't have any credentials. They, don't have, they haven't fought. They haven't fought in the street. They haven't fought in the ring. They haven't done anything. They had, some people have had two or three amateur fights as if that's a career, it's not a career, it's a start. <laughs> and it doesn't mean anything. Uh, lots of people I can mention, name-wise, but that would just be helping them out, I think, on their publicity, so I don't need to say that they're detractors. That, you know, the common name people want to use now for is hater, but I like to say they're detractors because it's really envy that they have. They don't have my creative ability. They're not a genius in the field. I am. There's not that many. You know, same thing Mozart had to deal with. And if you can't accept that fact, then you don't know. You haven't been to my seminars. You haven't had personal training because the people who have all will tell you that. That's why I have testimonials to that fact. Now, anyway, let's just get back directly to Ray and his challenge. He said he would fight me anywhere, anytime because he is uh, part of an organization. Uh, he's not part of an organization. He's he was trained by some people that he denies that he was trained by now and he's trying to split off on his own faction. He trains tourists in uh, Boracay and uh, he originally is from Cebu. But the point being is that he wants to legitimize himself as, his, as the next greatest person. And he's not. There's guys in Cebu that are better. That legitimize himself as the best person in this type of stick fighting, but he's not. There are people in Cebu that are better. Uh, he's disavowing the guy that had taught him right now, and he's trying to align himself. It's a power move. It's Game of Thrones, you know. Uh, political stuff is always in martial arts. Uh, that's why I don't really deal with martial arts. You know, I'm loosely connected to this organization because the stick uh, work that they do is very good. Uh, so Ray hasn't fought anybody with sticks that I know of. He's never done a dog brother sort of thing, although he thinks he can beat people. He's a little guy, you know, that's his genetics. There's nothing he can do about that. He's a small little guy, come on. I'm a heavyweight professional fighter, he can't even begin. And compete with me athletically, or what I've accomplished with experience. But he wants to say he wants to fight me. So, you know, I'm not a coward. I have. People have tried to kill me, people have tried to shoot me, people have tried to stab me, people have hit me with bottles, pool cues, uh, ganged up on me, multiple attackers, uh, lots of stuff that's not great. <laughs> I've gone through all that. I have those experiences, you know, I didn't get to where I am by not having real life encounters. You know, I don't talk about things, I'm not theoretical, I'm empirical. I talk about what I've been through, what I've done. So, anyway, to get to Ray, Specifically, he wants to cause trouble. Now, since nobody in this uh, organization or this brotherhood or however you want to call it of stick fighting wants to intercede and tell Ray to stop it, even though they've seen him uh, saying bad things and uh, tearing down and denying who taught him, and they don't want to step in and say anything, and I'm the only person who's actually indicated that because, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm not a coward. And uh, they're not behind me. They're not showing me any support. So. Basically, I'm going to handle this like I've handled everything throughout my life. And it's like, what flight are you on, Ray? When are you coming to Thailand to embarrass yourself? Because you better wake up and wipe yourself off if you think you can beat me. And if you think it's going to go like you think it's going to go, you're sadly confused. Because what you know is one little thing. I've trained with the best in the world. I've been all over the world. Nobody stopped you from doing that except yourself, Ray. You don't have my background in anything. You want to think that... <laughs> that you can do a little stick work, that that's going to mean something. It means absolutely nothing. How many fights have you had in your life, Ray? How many? I've had over 150, and I'm here. Yeah, I've gotten hurt. You know, I've been hit by cars before. <laughs> Lots of things have happened to me, and I've survived them. What have you done to even match that? So, uh, I just want to say that all the people who are trying to steal my stuff, that have stolen my stuff, that try to pass my stuff off, or try to diminish my work because they can't recognize it, because they just really are not on my level, you know? It's like a child denying calculus. So a five-year-old can't understand calculus, that means it doesn't exist, right? <laughs> anyway, so I want to tell you that, you know, fluentfighting.com is my website, my main website. You can find me on other things. I'm on Facebook, obviously. And you can uh, see, uh, come to Thailand, and wait for Ray to show up. Because what flight are you on, Ray? What flight are you on? When are you coming? 
I got people who will uh, who will be my second, who will be impartial, watch it, you know, I'll film it, and uh, we'll put a little bit for free, but you know, I don't fight for free, Ray, so it makes make some money off of your beating, because that's the only way it's going to go. And as far as the other people organization, if they think I've gone too far, you didn't intercede, you didn't support anything, you didn't try to stop anything, so as Mike Stanley said, you got to go, brother, you're either with me or you're not. So in this case, take it to Mike Sandlin route. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens.